Hi everyone, it's Trish from Dish Kitty Studio and I am here with my um, weekly dish video. This is number 42. I am working here in my art journal. Um, this is my uh, textbook. It's an old textbook. And I just kind of flipped to this page that has the star on it and I decided to go ahead and just add some, uh, I wanted to put a dark navy blue and I also have silver, some metallic silver on my palette and that's just acrylic paint. So I'm just going in and adding some paint to this page. Um, this video is going to get posted a little bit early. Um, I actually have to leave town uh, unexpectedly for a funeral. So um, I thought I would go ahead and get this video done and out a little bit early um, since we're going to be on the road. But as you can see, I'm just adding paint and um, nothing, nothing major. I just sort of kind of darkened up that background there. Um, this is pretty typical of how I work in this art journal. I just sort of, you know, flip to a page and, um, you know, start kind of adding elements to it. So I, while I had this, uh, I had some leftover silver metallic paint on my palette. So I decided to just sort of flip through and, and see where I might want to use it. And I added some of it to this page, but I wasn't really loving how it was turning out. So I, uh, I didn't do much of that. I dry it up and then I just kind of move on. But you, you can see, I just sort of flip through and, um, you know, find a page that I want to add something to. This is just a, a piece of uh, some mail that I got, a catalog or something, and I really liked that star and I liked those colors. So um, I just grabbed some glue and I this book down here. Um, and while I have that silver metallic paint uh, left over on my palette, um, I just grabbed some and kind of add it to this page around the edges here to sort of blend that in and um, I think it looks really cool with that silver star so um, that's about it I just kind of put that to the side and then this is actually uh, what I call my use it up journal it's really just a composition book I leave it next to my art uh, table and then I just add whatever leftover paint um, is on my palette you can see I've got some stamped images there um, we, you know I use it to clean off my stamps when I'm done I don't stamp a ton but um, so it's got all kinds of different media in it I use it to try out pens and you know try out pencils see what kind of colors you know what the colors look like um, you can see I'm just taking the little scraps from that um, star piece and just kind of slapping them in. And so once I am finished with this book, I uh, take it upstairs to my work office where I actually work. I keep it at my desk and I use it for journal writing. Uh, I sketch in it. I put little, add more ephemera. It's just kind of a, almost like a junk journal, I guess. Um, and I just use it for, you know, whatever, whatever I feel like. Uh, so this is my daily illustrated journal. Uh, if, if you guys have watched my videos in the past, you've probably seen this from the last few weeks. I have these uh, die cut words and I just thought it'd be really cool to put uh, today on the front of this book. So I'm just taking some glue and covering the back of it and sticking it down. I think it ended up looking really cool right there. So uh, I just glued it down with some, um, I don't even know what kind of glue that is, some kind of liquid glue. And I go ahead and go back over the top of it. Um, use that to sort of, you know, flatten it out, make sure it's um, flush with the page. And then I dried it a little bit and I think it turned out really cool. I'm really happy with this. This is really the first way I've altered the cover of this book. So I think it turned out neat. Um, I'm happy with it. I like it a lot. I'm really happy with this book in general. So I, I think it turned out cool. Uh, so I here I am uh, going through and filling up some of my uh, fountain pens. Not filling up, I'm sorry, cleaning. So I'm just running water through them and flushing them out. Um, I have a couple a few different pens here. I've actually got four pens that I, I clean here, I think. Uh, one is my, the purple one is my Pilot Plumix, which I love. It's a great pen. It's a stub nib. And then the three uh, 
colored barrel pens uh, that are that look alike are the uh, Schaefer calligraphy set pens. Those are also stub nibs and they're um, very, very wide nibs um, specifically for calligraphy, um, but I just use them for general writing. I don't do calligraphy. I just like stub nibs because they give you a very, very fat line, a broad line, and I really like that. So I'm just flushing these out with, um, I don't even know what you call that thing. Um, it's like for sucking snot out of a baby's nose. <laughs> I don't know what the technical name of it is, but I'm just using it to flush um, the old ink out of those pens so I can refill them because they were all empty. Uh, the Plumix, I have a converter for, but these Schaefer pens uh, actually are, I have cartridges for, so I don't, I don't have converters for those. I, th I don't know if they, I don't think they make converters for these particular pens, so I do have cartridges. But I thought you guys might be interested in um, just what it looks like to clean these pens. So yeah, you basically just flush out the ink and then you want to let them dry before you uh, fill them back up. And that's basically it. I'm kind of drying them out here with a, that's the Plumix, the Pilot Plumix. I'm just sort of drying it off with a napkin, try to get as much moisture out of it as possible. And then that there was the converter. Uh, so here I am working on my morning pages. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with a book called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. Uh, it's a very, very popular book. And she recommends writing three pages longhand every single morning when you wake up. Um, just kind of stream of consciousness writing um, as a way to sort of keep your creativity flowing. So I've tried this exercise in the past. I really, it wasn't super successful for me at that time, but I wanted to try it again. So I did start it up this week. Um, I did it almost every day. I think there was only one day that I missed. And I'm enjoying it this time around. The first time I didn't think it was really for me, but I, I'm getting more out of it this Hi there. Uh, I just wanted to do uh, just a really quick haul for you guys and, and show you a few things. Um, in last week's video, I was working on these, these cat prints um, that I did for an animal charity. So these are the two newest ones. I did get prints made. These are four by six. Uh, here's what they look like. And then um, for the charity, these are, this is just some art I had kind of laying around that was animal style artwork. Um, I wouldn't say all of them are animals, but I had these prints done too um, so that I could give them to the charity along with those two new cat ones. So this one's uh, just a cute little kitty cat. I did this a long time ago. It's very um, kind of cartoony cute cat and and then I have the word cat there um, this one very again very simple and then this one is uh, just a little kind of like a little creature I did I don't know if you can see it there it's got antlers and so those are what I did for uh, the animal charity these I had maybe five or six of each of these printed up and I just kept one of each for myself and I did give those to the charity so hopefully they'll be able to sell them and uh, make a little bit of money off of them anyway uh, while I was out getting those printed, though, I picked up a couple of other things I wanted to show you. You all know, if you've watched any of my videos before, that I love these Sharpie pens, just the Sharpie Fine Point um, ink pens. I usually buy them in, like, the three-pack or whatever, but while I was at Office... Office Max, Office Depot, whatever, they're interchangeable basically. Um, I looked at the clearance stuff and they had these boxes of 12 and they are usually about 25 bucks. They were half price, so I got the whole box of 12 for, I want to say $12. And then they also had a 10% off clearance coupon, so I got them for, I don't know, 11 bucks or something. So 12 brand new Sharpie pens for 11 bucks. I'm pretty excited because I love these. I you know, won't bleed through paper. That is absolutely true. They're 100% waterproof, perfect for inking sketches and then watercoloring. I love these so, so much. So I was really happy to get such a great bargain. Uh, a couple other things I got. Um, you guys know uh, a few weeks ago I bought, uh, during the back to school time, actually they're right here, I bought these donut uh, reinforcement labels. I saw these at the time. Also, these are like metallic, so there's like gold, silver, bronze, copper. Um, 
And I liked these two, but they were, I think, $4.99 a pack, and I didn't really want to pay that much. Um, but they were on clearance for, I want to say $1.25, and then again, I had the 10% off coupon. All this stuff came from the clearance area. And then I got these three packs of sticky notes. Oh my gosh, look at these. Coffee and donut. Are you kidding me? How cute is that? And then look at this one. Kitty cat with glasses. So excited. And I also grabbed these. Um eggs, bacon, and waffle. Come on, cute. These were, I think, $1.25 a pack. And then, you know, again, I had the 10% off. I wanna open these up actually and see. I haven't even opened them yet. I got these the other day. But it looks like, now that I'm looking at it, like this is kind of a, oh, hang on. Let me get this off here. I wanna see what these babies are actually like. Okay, so there's that gross stuff. Oh, it's like a notebook. Oh, I thought these journal and sticky notes. Look, I didn't even read what it said, you guys. Huh. I thought this was a little pack of sticky notes too. This is a coffee mug journal. And then you have donut sticky notes to go with it, which this is really cute because now I have these little coffee cup shaped pieces of paper too. This is really cute. I like this. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to pop in real quick and show you these cute little things I bought. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching.